Julio. Oh, I really do have to get a device that holds more memory and I don't have to upload. I was just informed that I've used all the data on my phone. So I might have to go and bounce off of my internet from next door, my sister's, so that I can, um, <laughs> so I can upload a video without using my data or change my my phones, whatever. Anyway, I was not comfortable in my last outfit. As you can see, I've changed, but this is just me. I do change like 20 times a day anyway. So if I'm going to make a lot of videos, I probably have just changed. I didn't really do it for the video usually. So Maybe you need to feel changed. Maybe you need a change. Ew. Maybe you need to go and buy yourself a Gatsby tiara and walk down the street and own that shit. Even if you're having a bad hair day and feel really tired, just work through it. You know? I mean, it looks like you're birthing something new or someone that you know is birthing something new. I mean, it doesn't have to be an actual birth. It's something. It's something. Um... It's something you have, you're, you're, you're forced into the decision to choose about, but you have a progressional choice. You're moving. Um, I kind of want to move your cards all around a little bit. So, I mean, you have this coming as a double whammy. There's something telling you that you were walking down your path, Leo. So you've been walking down your path. Look at this card. Look at that card. While I demonstrate. So you're walking down your path. And you have this path that everyone's gone down and, you know, actually paths initially were animal, I think they're called animal trails. Since we have a couple of like Native American card looking things here for you, Leo. So um, animals naturally follow the trail on the earth. That's like the lead line. It's the energy, energy, uh, the energy gas station channel of the earth. So... People started following the animals who already had started to trail off little paths. I'll let you look at this. In the... That one. Started to make these paths in the forest. So then the people started following. And then the paths got bigger and they became actual paths. But they found that if you actually follow those initial paths. So like those stone, those stone walls and the... East Coast United States and Ireland and everything they're through. Those are like energetic channels of energy through the earth. So I don't know if that's the same exact line as the animal trail slash paths, but something like that. And they found that if people walk along these paths, that the longer they go in the path, the more energy they actually get, the less food they need, the more they're the earth like naturally re-energizes their asses for going the right way with the earth. It's pretty amazing, but it was because of the animals that we knew where to go. Uh, you know, we followed them first and they were the ones who were in tune with the magnetic slash energetic forces of mommy nature and earth. We lost our way somewhere. So maybe we should listen to the animals a little bit more. I mean, you got the queen of pentacles here peacocking the shit out of something. So you know, she's got like, yeah, she's, 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 I don't know, so much symbol in the peacock. All right. All right. So we have a lot of birds flying around. So birds are, you know, you got the birds here and you got birds in the sky here and you have fish and a peacock. And then we see. Fire, fiery trees, like growth, even the fiery trees. I don't know if this is like this, but what I got out of that part here, there's like the fiery bushes. <laughs> Maybe that means something to somebody. Um, but like sometimes forest fires are set for a reason because, you know, it needs to be cleared. And when they're controlled, um, it only, you know, I was up in the woods and like five years ago, literally, there was like, there was a path and there's big trees like this already through the path. They come fast. So when there's a fire or something needs, sometimes things need to be burnt to the ground to enable new growth. Um, 
and you guys definitely have like it's like all right so what I see when with your double whammy from the universe here so you're walking down your path walking down your path walking I think I got off a of track I got off track my path somewhere back there in the beginning of the video so walking down your path and your path's been laid out for you so easily you didn't even think to go off of it you've had your energy rejuvenated for you you didn't even know you didn't eat food you just keep going all of a sudden leo you get here and you're like what the fuck oh my god i gotta make a decision <laughs> it's been so long and you've had your path just right before you for so long you're suddenly taking off off course a little bit it freaked you out maybe you took a when took a, had a picnic off the side, eat some berries, thought about your decision a moment, you know, which way you're going to go, that way or that way. I mean, if you look at it from here, it looks like they're both going to end up leading into the same place. Anyway, so it doesn't really matter which way you go. It doesn't matter. They're both the right way. Don't sit there worrying about it so much. Just go away. Now, if you go down a path and you don't like it, what's there, you can always turn around come back to that point and go the other way. There's nobody that told you that once you go that way, you can't. I mean, you can go pretty far down that path. You could choose the path and go way, way, way far away and just be a lazy ass and not want to walk all the way back to take the different direction. Maybe by the time you're, you're that far down that road, there's going to be another fork in the road and you don't have to worry about turning back anyway. You're going to get a new fork in the road. So still, don't worry about it so much. Just start walking, Leo. Start walking. Or, you know, put some fuel in the fire of your magic, like, jet chair rocket packet to start lifting you off. Um, now, I mean, you have these people, so it's like you have the... I have a king and a queen. You have, like, an earthy queen or feminine-like energy within you, but grounded energy, practical, uh, uh, hardworking, but sensitive, like well-rounded. And then you got this fiery, passionate guy on his rocket chair. So this is like a couple, I see. And then you also have the daughter of cups, right? And the son of stones. So this is almost like another couple. But I don't really see it as a couple. And unless it's like maybe you're, you are a couple and you're worried that you have a, like a boy and a girl kid and that's the younger energy. The the feminine energy would be the like brand new offerings of love. That innocent, youthful, like happy I've never been messed up with my heart and I'm just really want to be in love. And like me plus you, like a hundred times in a book, like you're 14, like... Pretending you had it the last name and imagining scenarios and you haven't gone through the shit yet to know that there's some shit that happens, you know, when you actually have a relationship with someone. So she's a little starry eyed, but it's that brand new starry eyed. So that's, that's energetically charging. Perhaps that's what's energetically charging for the son of stones. So it's like... I see this whole thing as a progression. So it's like you start off as the like younger energy, like the son and the daughter and the younger and the learning of a new thing. You know, the younger energy of either the person that you're thinking of, which I mean, this is an earth energy. So maybe you're, if you're a girl, you're dealing with a earthy male energy. And if you're a guy, you're dealing with a watery female energy that's younger but i think it's like either within yourselves or that's the base energy of the challenge of what you have to learn from to step into your king and queen position which it looks like you're going to do maybe this is deciding to work together to take dominion over this situation to actually choose to go somewhere together i mean so you started with the feminine en energy was offerings of love it was starry-eyed and um hopeful and open and then you have the grounded energy of the sun of stones of the west now i mean this is like a chief he's like an indian chief right he has one feather yet so he still to get more feathers but it looks like he's coming out of the mountain 
On this one, it looks like, I look at, I think of this as like, it looks like a birth canal to me. This looks like he's traveling up into, into this, can you see it here? Like, through here, through the hymen or whatever, the uterus, and eventually into the canal. And it's like that youthful energy. I know that's really weird to think of when I see a landscape, but that's what I thought of. And then his is also phallic. You know, he's up and he's there and he's got the thing going up into the fish. But these are the bones of the fish. The bones of the sensitivity of the subject. So, the Son of Stones, normally it's like the, the King of, the Knight of Pentacles. He's the only knight that like gets off his horse and prays before he moves. He'll always make it there. He takes a little bit longer. He But he's like solid like a motherfucking mountain. He ain't moving him. He has his goal. He takes it step by step. He works with like an animal. Like if you're the Indian chief, you work with a horse. You're, you're maybe not this guy on, I don't know, if you have a jetpack like chair, like the rocketeer. I mean, you could run out of gas and then you couldn't do anything. Whereas if you have a horse, your horse can eat some grass, drink some water and you're on your way. Or if you have an awesome goat, you can go up like crazy walls or stuff. So you work with the nature of the earth. Um, and that's what is grounding to you and getting you to your goal. You might not get there as fast, but you will get there beyond a doubt because you're taking the stable, solid, um, road and you're connecting with nature along the way. So maybe that's what you need to think of on before, or maybe you're like taking your time getting to that point where you're getting to your rocket chair to lift you the lift you off but maybe you're keeping somebody with a very grounded energy around you to remind you that you need to bring your rocket chair down and come feed your horse every once in a while because you wouldn't have gotten to your rocket chair if you didn't take your awesome horse or moose as this picture has up there maybe that's why you're no that's an elk or a deer <laughs> and there's one on each path so maybe that's the point. Maybe you're going to walk up there and you're going to meet an elk or a deer or a horse. You're going to go up that path. They're going to meet one too. Which one's going to be your buddy? You're going to ride on to your rocket chair. Because when you get there, you're just going to jump over that and go in and see your awesome like mega lift thing that you found here. Look, it's like, don't go there. But if you found like a megalithic city here, are you going to listen to that? Or are you going to go through and be like, this is awesome. No one has been here for billions of years. Look at what we can see now. Because you stepped forward and you went through it. This is making the decision, you know. You have this, it's like, we need to follow your heart and be open to something new here. A new experience you never had. A new relationship you never had. A new job you never had. A new something, a new path you never went down. Go down that shit. You know, listen to your heart. Listen to what makes you feel like you're a little girl having her first crush. That's the way you want to go. Well, not, don't be dumb. Don't be the dumb girl having the crush. But do it. Make a decision to go forward. Go from the two to the three. Start working together with the people around you, even if their energies are different than you. Like I said before, what did you have? Like, I said about the thing here with, like, the wood on fire. That's like the earth energy and the fire energy working well together. Setting the forest on fire sometimes can bring that new, brand new growth. In order to have that growth, though, you need to have the rain. So in this rain, on this card, is a brand new baby in, in the... In the Aeon of time, looking in, ready to come out and have its brand new life. It's sitting there and it's ready and it knows its entire path. It hasn't been birthed yet to be messed up at all. It's perfect. Perfect. Your idea is perfect and it's ready to come out. Ready to come forward and roll into your world and give you a brand new start at something. So... Bring some rain, you know, after that forest fire's going off, sizzle it down with a little bit of rain, a little love, a little emotion. All right, love you, Leo. Bye.